All right, welcome back to Casa Texpino. We're on building number 249. Beautiful Saturday morning. End of the first week in 2021. Fresh start. Uh, lots of things accomplished this week so far. Um, we got our general labor crew on site. Um, carpenters, electricians, and painters. Uh, so let's uh, walk around, see where everybody's at and what they're working on today, and let's get started. Alrighty, majority of our activities right out here in the garage area today. Um, our electricians are putting in all the wiring prerequisites, requirements for our sliding gate motor as well as they will eventually get over to putting in the wiring that we require for the uh, overhead garage door that's going to be coming back that's going to be getting installed uh, so they've got to get all the wiring installed first then the um, contractor for uh, the sliding gate and garage door which is the same contractor uh, for both items not for the house um, he will come out, verify that the wiring is, is good to go, and then schedule the installation from there. Um, Mr. Allen is continuing work on the uh, drawers for the different locations throughout the house. And Mr. Uh, Wilson here is working on uh, final coat prep for the uh, main, for the master bath, sorry, for the master closet um, island. So it's getting, working, getting ready to work on that. And then we've got two more um, painters over across the street, <clears throat> still sanding and prepping uh, a lot of cabinet doors and drawers. Everything that Mr. Allen has been fabricating, these two gentlemen over here are sanding and prepping the Macias and the whole nine yards. So you got Mr. Uh, Mr. Henry and Mr. JR over here working on those. Some of the uh, painting operation for the last touches on the uh, master closet island have moved back indoors. A um, little windy, too much dust out in the uh, um, out in the garage. So Mr. Wilson and the paint machine have moved back inside. Um, here they are almost done. He's getting ready to do the uh, clear coat finish over the top of it. Um, so we're going with the. Uh, Miss Emmy wanted the light gray top, white on the sides, and the same border that we have around the rest of the house for the baseboards. Um, there are still drawers that are going to go in this. Um, three drawers on each side. Uh, so that's what Mr. Allen is out there working on in the garage area. All right, we're up in the uh, attic. Mr. Alex is doing a little pre-drill. Uh, where the holes are going to go or where the screws are going to go to start uh, fastening down some of these uh, boards uh, So he's doing a little pre-drill Let me show you one of them Right here Just to get it to where it's uh, partially through so that the screws Will be easier to put in later The other thing going on up here is our electricians are up here and they're starting to route the wires and flexible conduit for the um, light that's going to go out above the uh, front porch and also the start routing the electrical outlets uh, that are going to go in the eaves uh, we've got one on all four corners and one here by the front door that's going to help us with uh, being able to string up christmas lights next year or anytime we want to be a little festive and here in the uh, bedroom number two, um, Mr. Allen has been bringing it, starting to bring in some of the drawers. Uh, so we've got the sliding brackets on the sides. So the slides are there and they're gonna start placing those in here. So he's got another set of three to bring in and that'll fill out that side. And then it'll start putting the face plates on. So we'll catch that a little bit later this afternoon. Right, Mr. Cho, our main electrician out here has been working on installing the photo cells for our uh, fence lights. So we've got one here. So when it gets dark on this side, 
these lights all come on on this side of the house up to here and when it gets dark these come on first thing in the morning this is going to be the ones that go off first and the other one for the for this side of the house is controlled on a separate switch um, from the north side of the house so everything here on the north side is controlled by the photo cell right up there the little blue box right next to the big one right there there's mr allen putting on the uh, sliders for our drawers so he's working on the drawers now for bedroom number two So we'll get them put on place on the drawers first and then go uh, install them inside the walk-in closet there in bedroom two on the other side of this wall. And here inside the uh, kitchen area, Mr. Chokoy is putting in uh, raceways for some of the electrical wiring so that our electric wiring like this going from the switch to our under cabinet LED lights is all hidden. So this way you don't have this ugly wire hanging down. So that's what Mr. Choco is working on over here. Get a better angle. See, already all closed up. All right, here's the drawers going in the uh, bedroom two's walk-in closet. <clears throat> got five here, the one there. So he's got the first one put in. Now he's gonna put in the uh, He's measuring to make sure that the faceplate works in place. So if not, he's got to do a little trimming. And he'll come back and hit that in a minute. All right, we had our uh, gas tank delivered today. Uh, this is the, nope, that's the little one. We had the big one delivered today and put into place. Um, we will connect it later uh, once everything else is done in the house and we start working um, talking with the the delivery guy he said on average with general usage this tank could last anywhere from six months to a year uh, so just the one tank um, cost us let's see what was it um, hundred dollar deposit well equivalent of a hundred dollar deposit so it was a five thousand peso deposit and uh, the first fill was 30 about 38 for uh, 3800 to almost 4000 pesos um so um for 80 dollars a year we've got all the gas we can use because the only thing that's on gas in this house is the uh oven that's in the dirty kitchen which we'll be using on occasion but i don't think we'll use it as heavily or frequently as your typical Filipino family using all of their gadgets, uh, their cooking, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I uh, think this is a good investment for us. It's gonna uh, last for quite a while. And uh, with the location, let me use borrow one of the, uh, the local expressions. If ever we decide to 10 years down the road or so, change our mind and go away from the electric dryer that's inside the utility room here, all we gotta do is poke a hole through uh, reroute another uh, gas connection and we can tap off the same um, off the same tank uh, to be able to take care of the then it would be gas dryer and the gas uh, stove so options always have options all right Miss Emmy's, Miss Emmy's doing her inspecting and uh, we've got the first set of three drawers in for the uh, bedroom number two's walk-in closet. The other three are out here, still working on it. Let's go look and see what they're doing upstairs. All right, so uh, up in the attic also, we do have the prerequisite wiring in place. That's what those little wires down there are for. Uh, for the um, garage door opener, and it's gonna come back uh, 13 feet from the inside and that's where the uh, the motor is supposed to be located at uh, so that's all going to be done from the underneath side of the uh, garage and then we'll be able to put these panels back into place um, 
notice we did start going ahead and uh, doing the set holes for being able to secure the flooring. Um, main reason being, somebody asked me, it says, do we really need to put set screws? Uh, and I said, yes, we need to at least have the corners screwed down because if not, just walking over it, they do tend to move quite a bit. So it makes a lot of racket. Um, just being able to do it with set screws instead of the glue and screw. Uh, we're not putting any glue underneath it to hold it in place because we want to be able to pull these boards up at a later point uh, to be able to do maintenance. So if ever something happens and we need to get into the crawl space that's down on the sides and underneath here, because we remember we got about a two to three foot crawl space. It may be a little larger than that. Um, in between the floor boards up here in the attic and the ceiling uh, throughout the rest of the house. So that allows us to be able to just unscrew the, the corners, pull the boards up and get back to doing some maintenance. Otherwise, um, the board stays secured and we don't have to worry about a lot of noise up here. All right, we got the um, prerequisite wiring all completed for the sliding gate motor and uh, what I showed you earlier upstairs in the attic for the garage door. Um, so now um, we've already put a call in to the, uh, contra the subcontractor for this, uh, for the sliding gate motor and the garage door, and they will be arriving sometime next week to inspect the wiring prior to making the schedule. Uh, so they send out an engineer uh, that works for their company. They look at the wiring, make sure that everything is uh, sufficient, that they have all the wires they need, that they're the right um, gauge wire, the right number of wires, everything's all good and in order. And then they'll um, make a schedule uh, within three to five working days and get somebody out here to do the uh, remaining install. So, with all things working in our favor, we may have a garage door and sliding gate. Um, let's go with about two weeks. So I'm guessing in about two weeks. All right, um, we now have the wiring in place. Let's look through the window, through the wall door. The wiring is in place now for the um, front porch light on the inside so that's there and the switch is going in over here that'll be tested once that's tested we know it works we'll call in our other friends from uh, Clark Liberty and they'll come out and do the uh, installation of another chandelier type we've already got on site uh, we're also waiting on some more light bulbs and some additional wiring. We're actually gonna drop this uh, dining room light probably another three, uh, three feet. Uh, so right now it's a little too high for a dining room table. Uh, so we're gonna drop it. And to be able to do that, I've gotta get the uh, support wire and the electrical wire to be able to do that. Uh, so that's uh, coming in the next uh, week or so, hopefully. Would you believe my sound went out on me again? Um, well, it's yabba dabba do time. The guys are across the street starting to put their tools and stuff away. Um, we've had a pretty eventful week. Um, lots of electrical work done. The uh, plumbers wrapped up most of their work. The, plum, uh, the uh, carpenters and painters are still busy along, moving along with their stuff. So if y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Tex Pina Star right over here, and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload. So until we see you again on Monday, have a great afternoon, and God bless.